Hello and welcome. It's finally time to explore some synths and make some music again. But first I have to apologize, I haven't done any videos in like months. Well, well you know how it is when you're an artist, sometimes uh, you just don't have the inspiration and I just haven't had the inspiration or, or the motivation right now. But now I think it is time to get back in the saddle again. And what I've done is I went down to a flea market to get my inspiration back. It always makes me happy to buy some old gear and, and, and see if I can create something from it. And now I found this one. So this is a Yamaha PSS 280. So in this series from Yamaha, the PS actually just stands for Porta Sound. So it's, it's kind of meta here, it's a Porta Sound PS. So it's basically Porta Sound, Porta Sound. Uh, but anyway, then the, the extra S here is for synthesizer. So it means basically a Porta Sound synthesizer. There's also some products from Yamaha called PSR, which is kind of the workstations. And they're also PS stands for Porta Sound and R stands for I do not have a clue. I don't know if anyone knows what the R stands for in the PSR models from Yamaha. Uh, please write in the comments if you know. But anyway, so, so these Porta sounds was basically made for home usage. So it was not professional instruments, it was more for hobby musicians. And I think especially these tiny, tiny keys are a bit problematic if you want to play like a pro musician. But the sound engine is pretty cool because uh, so the Porta Sound came with different technologies. So some Porta Sounds had basic waveforms, some had wavetables, so slightly more complex waveforms. Some came equipped with uh, PCM samples. Uh, but this model, the PSS 280, actually has a two operator FM synthesizer and also some PCM samples for drums. So sound-wise, it's pretty cool, actually. And uh, the sounds are very 80s. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make an 80s tune using this, since it's the only reasonable thing to do. But uh, let's just connect it first and uh, see how it sounds. And then we can create some cool 80s tunes. Let's go. So let's see now what this little baby can do. So first we have a lot of like this FM pianos, a uh, big bunch of them, sounds like this. have a couple of brass sounds. I think I'm gonna use this one, number 24. It's, it's pretty suitable for the track I've imagined. Yes, very 80s. That one I'm gonna use. Then we have all the string sounds. So we have some cool string sounds here. Uh, I think I'm going to use this one. What else do we have? Ah, cool bass sound. Yeah, now we have all these bell sounds, and these are really good for 80s music. Yes, and, and here are the bass sounds, so quite a lot of basses. I think I'm gonna use the synth bass. Yeah, very good for 80s music. I 
I think I will have a melody that sounds something like this. Electric toms, I want to use this one for sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. You have already heard that now a couple of times. Yeah, now a couple of weird sound effects. Stereo. I might want to use that one. Yeah, or maybe this one. Yeah, I like all these little stereo effects going on. And then I can also use this dual voice. I haven't used that that much. So if I use that, I can combine different sounds and get like a a double sounding with two sounds at the same time. And then we have the drums. So one problem here is I don't have any drum kits. Actually, I can't play drums on the keyboard. I only have like these rhythms that are pre-programmed. So I'm going to have to use these. And I have some different styles. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm probably going to use this one, and then I can have some fills. Yeah, that would be my drums, but I probably have some more stuff here, let's see. Maybe I can use this for like a breakdown or something. Or maybe this one. Maybe this for a build up, we'll see. No, but I would think I would use pop ballad number five as my main drums, and, and probably I'll do a breakdown with maybe the samba or the, the swing band or rumba. We'll see. But those will be the drums. Now let's try to arrange a cool 80s track and see how that sounds. Very exciting. Off we go.